In this video, I will show you how to use the FX Dust Cleaner. The Dust Cleaner allows you to clean the dust or parasites in your scanned drawings. First, I will import a scanned drawing by clicking on File, Open Import. I choose my file and I import it as a project and it will be opened in a new project tab. In my drawing, I can see that there are some parasites due to the scanning process or the rubber or just some pencil stroke errors that I made. So now I duplicate my layer to keep a version of the original drawing. This must always be a reflex when you want to use an FX, as FX are destructive for the pixels, always keep a duplicate of the original. First of all, before using my dust cleaner, I will clean my scan with the FX scan cleaner. So now I open my FX stack by clicking on the FX icon here, then add FX, color, scan cleaner black and white. I can already see a preview of the effect. If I change the background to check, I see that the transparency is already visible behind the line. All I need to do now is adjust the contrast of the line. To do so, I click on the transparency profile and I will move those dots in order to get the contrast I prefer in the line. This is what I want to get, so I can close my transparency profile and apply the FX stack. Then I can delete the FX. As it is applied, I do not need it anymore. I will now get my FX dust cleaner in Add FX, Color, Dust Cleaner. And I can see with a preview that some things have already been erased. I have a few parameters here. Alpha threshold defines the minimum alpha needed to detect dust. The dust size tells how many pixels needs to be gathered to be considered as dust. If I increase the value of this parameter, bigger elements will disappear, like this. But I don't want to erase the lines of my drawings, so I will need to use this parameter with parsimony. I can also select some areas for which I don't want the FX to be applied. To do so, I will use the selection tool, select a part of my drawing and invert the selection. And now all my drawing is selected except for this small area, which means that my FX will affect only my selection and not the area I defined. That way, if my dust size value is too high, I can save some lines in my drawing. The same way, I can add some other areas I don't want to affect by using the selection tool again and choose sub here to subtract the selection. That way, I can add some other elements I want to save. And when all my parameters are the way I want, I can apply my FX and then delete the FX as I do not need it anymore. I can remove my selection by holding the click on the selection tool and clicking on clear selection. Now I will come back to my original scan drawing, which doesn't have any transparency. And I will fetch the dust cleaner again. Only this time, for the background, I choose color. I have three different parameters, color, luminosity threshold and dust size. Color sets the background color into which the dust parasites will be changed. Luminosity threshold defines the minimum luminosity needed to detect dust. And dust size defines the maximum size in pixel of a dust particle. I remind you that I am working with a color dust cleaner, so there is no transparency in my image. I define the background color by clicking on the color field and clicking on the area of color I want for my background. And now I have a uniform colored background. When all the parameters are the way I want, I can apply my FX. And now you know how to use the FX Dust Cleaner.